Okay, good morning everybody. <clears throat> and let's say uh, we want to uh, pray for the nation of France and Germany, I think, because their president has announced starting from tomorrow, Paris will be shut down for a month. <clears throat> to European people, this is horrible. And many people cannot stand to be separated from their family for that long. But yeah, today, <clears throat> we come into a, a very important subject, suicide prevention. As I said, starting from 16 years ago, when I decided to be a preacher, whatever people do, if they don't do it the Bible way, their way will always fail, F-A-I-L. I can spell with it. Or any other way will be fail. And all these 60 years, I have seen it proven what I said is true. Statistic. In 2018, 2019 has not come out, and 2020 not come out. Therefore, we can only have <coughs> the latest is 2018. America has 48,344 successful suicide. <coughs> and 2017, is 471 of uh, 40, 47,173. And we can see 2017, 2018, there's improvement. Improved by about a thousand something, okay? It's 48 in 18, 47 in 17. This improvement means situation is bad. Improvement in knowledge, improvement in church gathering is good, but in suicide, suicide death is bad, is rising. And American government spent 93.5 billion healing suicide injury a year. Hear, hearing, okay, hear those who injured, not successful. Unsuccessful suicide are 10. The healing expenditure is 93.5. Does not count all those who do not spend government money. This is talking about government spending. 93.5. The loss of everything else does not count. Unfortunately, the U.S. has the highest number one rank, number one in the world, suicide rate of any other wealthier nation. It's currently 10 leading cause of death. According to my research on Google, actually it's very easy. In America, number one is heart disease. Heart, okay? Cardiac, heart disease is number one. Nine, uh, 69,000, 69,000 something. Uh, no, 690,000. According to the report, the COVID-19 death is 550 some thousand. It's over 550. Heart disease is 6,900,000. And the second is <coughs> Cancer, 59, uh, 590. 
thousand. And then the next is diabetic. And this COVID-19 has squeezed into number four. It's 550 in number four. Therefore, suicidal death squeezed to number 11. It used to be number 10, but now it's number 11 because COVID-19 death has the fourth spot. One thing that I wonder is, since COVID-19, up to now, killed over 550,000 people. The whole world went out their effort to come up a vaccine. Why didn't they went out to come up a vaccine for heart disease vac vaccine? Vaccine for heart disease. There's 100,000 uh, people, more people, death and diabetic, and cancer. Why not come up with those uh, vaccines for those illness? Okay. <clears throat> this is statistic. And in case in your family or your friend had young people between 15 years old to 19 years old, this teenagers when America is number two. Number one, occupied by a small country in, your, in Europe. Extreme poverty is leading cause in Africa. When I saw the report, how poverty, how much, how poor they were, I should have learned that 75, 80 years ago, then I would not be feel so bad. At that time, when I was a boy, little boy, I was so poor. I thought I was very, very poor. But look like a nation, small nation in Africa, is even poorer. Okay? Extreme poverty is number one cause of death. Is in the nation is in Africa. Okay? <coughs> Otherwise, aggravation. So you have to be careful. <clears throat> In Cantonese, there is this phrase often shouted. When did you hear it? All the time. <laughs> <laughs> you see, people argue with me to death. Aggravate me to death. You see, aggravation. Now, here is a very important question: Can a Christian commit commit suicide? Google has this answer: Christian can, C A N, commit suicide. Christian, dear Christian, okay. Their Christian can commit suicide. And they have a scripture for it. They quoted Romans 8, 38 to 39. Christian committed suicide can still go to heaven. And also, this is dangerous. You know that? Very dangerous. Very, very dangerous. Christian can go to heaven committed suicide. That's on Google. Everybody can see over the world. That's their answer. <clears throat> this is a message. And sadly, this is a message from Christianity today. Christianity today is, you see, they announce, sadly, suicide occurs among Christians at essentially the same rate that's their answer posted on Google. Anybody type the word suicide, click search, this message will come up. I have lived to see this day. 
Christians and non-Christians, their behavior, their life, is essentially the same. It's sad and bad. Christianity, Christianity Today is a magazine. It's the most circulated publication among Christianity. I read this 60 years ago. They already have it for a long, long time. It's the most popular, popular circulated publication, publication. I know for sure, one more time, not one Christianity people believe Jesus. I want my love for them. Yeah, you may wonder why all my lessons, very few of them, on the word love, L-O-V-E. Because according to what I understand, love, the love of God, is very, very cool. Love contains much extreme cruelty. If you know what love means in the Bible, especially when Jesus said it, Jesus said, if you love me, you will obey my command. The word will, NIV, NIV Bible, will obey. The word, the word will, W-I-L-L, -L, as I learned English in Hong Kong, can mean the obey is in the future, not now. The word will can mean must. You must do what it says. You must obey. The will can also, like someone sign a will, okay? You have quite a few different meanings. So Western believers, Christianity believers, they use the, they translate the word will obey. They mean not now, when we live on earth. When I go to heaven, even by committing suicide, then I will obey the command of God. But not now, it's will in the future. And some, like the KJV, ASV, they use the word keep. They use the word keep. And the word for word also use the word keep. You know what keep means to me, to them? Put it in your pocket or in your safe. Keep it, keep it as you keep your precious metal, like gold, like precious jewelry, diamond. You keep it tightly inside your pocket somewhere, but not to practice. That's what the keep means. I think Z knows this very much, right? Keep it, hold it tight, but not to practice. Especially not now. It's either in the future or keep it in the pocket. Not to practice in your daily life. And that is why believe and not believe, same behavior. Understand now? I hope. God has this much intelligence. That's why I say all these years, Christianity people, not one, believe Jesus. And next week, I will make it clear and in detail, illustration, the word love can be extreme cruelty. Let me just give you one little thing. One little, little thing. A mother can ask his child, My son, do you love me? He will say yes. The next line, I ask you to throw away, to pick up a garbage, put it into a garbage can. 
Will he do it? If he do it, he prove that he love the Brahma. If he refuse, he does not love. He's, he say he love you. It's a lie. Cruel. Then what you do? People will question. God is love. Why then there is a hell? See, they don't understand what love means. Love requires a hell. They don't understand. Or well, next week, we'll make it clear by the grace of God. Saturday, open up. It's time to talk about love starting from next week. But be aware, love can be very cruel, utmost extreme cruelty. That's why I say, <coughs> I'm sure Christianity not one believe Jesus. This is why their way of life essentially sin as non-believers. You see? They admitted that. They announced it. They put it on Google search. Their believer and unbeliever, their way of life, their behavior, essentially the same. To me, that means essentially do not believe. Church of Christ people never commit suicide. Period. Forever. Church of Christ people, people in the Church of Christ never commit suicide. Because we know the truth in the Bible. And we practice, we do, we put it into our daily life. Now, not tomorrow. Not when in heaven we see God. It's now while we are living on earth in this body of flesh. Now we understand and we practice. That's what Jesus did. If you love me, you will, W-I-L-L, obey, practice, do what I tell you. That's what love me. Next time, when you say you love your mother, you love your father, do you do what they tell you? If they don't do what they tell you, they are love. Is a lie. It is not the love. Jesus means is not the love that is written in the Bible. Take heed unto yourself and to all the flock. This is in which the Holy Spirit had made you bishops, bishops, elder, pastor, same thing, okay? To feed the church of Christ which he purchased with his own blood. Church of Christ purchased with his own blood. Therefore, people in Church of Christ do not belong to themselves. Their life do not belong to themselves. They are purchased with the blood of Jesus Christ. Therefore, we will not and we cannot kill or destroy what belongs to God. It's so simple. Even I, a Chinese from Hong Kong, understand it. How can people in Broadway Theological School do not understand? Don't you know that you yourself are God's temple and that God's spirit lives in you? Our bodies are God's temple. Understand? You cannot destroy, suicide, kill the temple of God. 
because we know the truth in the Bible and we do what it says, we practice, we will practice, means we must and we really do it. Not will practice, future in heaven. <coughs> if anyone destroys God's temple, God will destroy him. You see that? Very clear. Church of Christ people cannot and will not commit suicide. For God's temple is sacred, and you are that temple. This is the temple of God, your body. You cannot kill it, you cannot destroy it. This instruction alone is enough to prevent all suicide. You do not have to spend money and organize a foundation called suicide prevention. This and that. Of course, it's good to pre create some job for treasurer, for accountant, for CEO, for executive, whatever, okay? You can create lots of job, but still irrelevant. People will still commit suicide. There are so many suicide prevention, education, organization, everywhere. But suicidal rate still keep coming up, not coming down. But according to the Bible, this one scripture is enough to prevent all suicide. The perfect suicide prevention is believe Jesus in the Church of Christ. Let me make it clear again. In everyone in the whole world, listen to me very carefully. This is the only way you will see suicide rate coming down and become nothing. If you make American believe Jesus in the Church of Christ, make the Church of Christ everywhere. Like last week I said, make the Church of Christ everywhere. No one get bullied. No one dare to bully other people. And no one ever get bullied in church of Christ everywhere in the, in the world or in America, wherever. Today is the same thing. If anyone want to prevent suicide, the only way is become believer in the church of Christ, not any other way. Of course, they can try. Try for a thousand years and keep seeing suicide rate going up. If all Americans believe Jesus in the Church of Christ, 2118, that year alone, 48,344 lives saved and their family saved. Do you know one suicide, suicide success caused the whole family grief and lots of other troubles? Not only government spend expenditure, also family troubles and sadness to their friends, their loved ones. There are so many evil things going on. If America believed Jesus in the Church of Christ, 2018 alone, 448,344 uh, saved. 93.5 billion, okay? 93.5, okay? Billion deaths reduced. Yeah, by the way, 
if some people saving lots of uh, American currency at home in their safe, you better watch out, be prepared. In the next five, ten years, your ten thousand maybe become five thousand. Okay? Because America is printing money, printing money, printing money, keep printing money. You know, you know what? You know, even I understand. Hey, Gordon, even John Chen understand. American currency, they're very well lower, lower, become inflated. Okay? <clears throat> because they have so much debt. Okay? DBT, debt. Okay? All who know what kinds of people in Church of Christ will agree with me on this one. Anyone who know what kind of people in the Church of Christ, make up the Church of Christ. Apostle Paul showed us why we must live as long as possible. For the people in Church of Christ, starting from myself, everyone has to live as long as possible. I wish all of us live as long as possible. Here we have the scripture. According to my earnest expectation and my hope that in nothing I should be ashamed. Philippians chapter 1, 20. But that with all boldness as always, so now also Christ shall be magnified in my body, whether it be by life or by death. The Church of Christ. Jesus Christ's name will be magnified. For to me, to live is, is Christ. To die is gain. For himself, to die is gain. is better by far. But if I live in the flesh, this is the fruit of my labor. Yet, that I should chose, I know not. I am in, in the twig of two, having to decide, it, having a desire to depart and to be with Christ, which is far better. He said it himself. Okay? Because he worked so hard. Because Apostle Paul worked so hard. So many people try to model him every day, everywhere. And sometimes he, get, he, get, he got tired of it. And he realized death is better than living. Because if I die, I die in Christ and be with the Lord forever. Enjoy my forever life. Far better. That's what he said here. Let me repeat it one more time. Very important for us. For I am in a street between two, having a desire to depart and to be with Christ, which is far better. Nevertheless, to abide in the flesh is more needful for you, not for me, it's for you. What you said here, needful for you. Now, this is a script, the kind of scripture only us, those are in church of Christ, know that each person has three lives, life of spirit, life of soul, and life of body. Nevertheless, to abide in the flesh, you see that? It's talking about the soul still living in the body, the flesh. is more needful. Living in, a, in this body is more needful for the church, for you. And having this confidence, I know that I shall abide and continue with you all, with you all, for your furtherance and joy of faith, for your furtherance. By the grace of God, for me, as long as I am living, I can understand what he means. All this year, by the grace of God, I always remember that voice. Say that, Father change here, everything okay now. 
And as I always remind myself, especially right now when I leave the house, I have to go upstairs and come down. I always grab both rail, very tight by Moses. I have to be very careful <laughs> and stay healthy. I don't have a second chance to fly down on the number seven and bound all the way to the floor and hit my back in the last two steps and did not get hurt. I don't expect to have a second time go, go there. I make sure I don't have a second time because by the grace of God, I can relate to this. As long as Paul Chen is living here, no one can come here to bother with us, to bother us or anyone with their heretic teaching. Anyone dare to come here to make trouble. I will point to him. It's time that you move on. M-O-U-V-E N-O-V-E O-N by the grace of God, I can relate to things like this. I continue to live for your furtherance, for your growth in your faith, for the establishment of the church, for the glory of God. Not because I'm a dragon long in this body. It is needful for you. That's why I choose to live, continue to live. <coughs> now, conclusion now. Back to their mis Mr. Crompton, Romans 8, 38 to 39. As I say by the grace of God, I have lived to the day I can say Christianity today, whoever wrote that, Whoever quote this is wrong. Their understanding of the scripture is wrong. It's the opposite. Now, here's a scripture as recorded. For I am convinced that neither death nor life, neither angel nor demon, neither present nor the future, not any power, neither height nor depth, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus. Listen to it here, okay? Hey, watch very carefully. Let's just get this one nor anything else in all creation, nothing, okay, nothing all over the world, will be able to separate us from the love of God. They say this, what they mean, they mean what? Nothing, not anything, nothing, that means nothing, okay, nothing <clears throat> in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God. You know what they say they mean? This nothing means one of them is like suicide. Not even suicide can separate you from the love of God. That's what they say that means. Their idea is this. In nothing, include suicide, can separate people from the love of God. And this they quote it to support Christians can commit suicide and go to heaven because in their mind nothing, not even committed suicide can separate them from the love of God. Understand that? That's what they think this says. This says nothing, not even committed suicide can separate you from the love of God. This is not what that means. This is dangerous. They neglected this phrase, the love is 
in Christ Jesus our Lord. Okay, skip this one. This love, this love is in Christ Jesus our Lord. You know what that means? As long as you are in the church of Christ, you don't even think about committing suicide. That's what that means. No matter what, you will stay in the love of God. As long as you stay in the love of God, you cannot, you will not commit suicide. This proves people in Church of Christ do not commit suicide. That's what that means. Because they never have this kind of idea. The Church of Christ established that. Jesus established it. In the first century, they kept that knowledge in their pocket, kept it, lock it up in their safe, and they intend to obey when they commit suicide and go to heaven. When the day they see God in heaven, they will obey, then they obey. That's their idea, their big head. But it really says it's now on earth that you are in the love of God. One more time, be reminded, one is in Christ, means one is in the church of Christ. Literally, how can one be in Christ? It's invisible. But when you say one is in church of Christ or not in church of Christ, it's visible. Like today, the church of Christ is meeting to worship God and listening the teaching of the Bible right now is tangible and reality and on earth today in this body. Can I make it more clear? Our life is hidden right now, not later, not future, right now with Christ in God. As long as you are the church of Christ, the church of Christ is a body of Christ. The body of Christ is made up with every saved Christian, every saved, baptized, sins forgiven person is a body of Christ in the church of Christ. These are the people, they will never commit suicide. Nothing. Watch this. Let us read also verse 37. See, just one more verse. Hey, Gordon, one more verse. One more ahead of it. Watch what it says. No, in all these things, we are more than conquerors through Christ who loved us. And then you continue to 38 and 39. Do not extract it out. Read at least one more verse. No, in all this day, we are more than conquerors through Christ who loves us. Nothing in life, nothing is not that, not high, not wide, never know so many things, okay? Can separate us from the love of God. No, nothing can separate us from the love of God. You know why? In all this day, we are more than conqueror. You see? If all the things happen to us, we are more than conqueror. Why do we need to commit suicide? Hey, Moses, this is the one way to understand. You got it now? All this day, nothing can make us to commit suicide. Nothing. As long as we are in the church of Christ, nothing can make us commit suicide. You got that now? That's what that means. Not that you can commit suicide and sleep over heaven. What are they talking about? By the grace of God, we understand and we practice. Why? As I always say, I love these two young people, okay? Sit there and enjoy, right? You are young and willing to sit there and listen. Listen carefully. 
understand the Bible. These three verses together have to be together. Don't extract it out. Don't skip verse 37. When you get 37 together all the way to 39, then you understand. In all this thing, all over the world, all of our life that happened to us, nothing can make us to commit suicide. That's what that means. Hey, also put it in your head, okay? We need you guys, every one of you, stay alive as long as possible. Let them die first, okay? If they want to die. Yes, through Christ, we are more than conqueror in all this thing. All this thing in world, on, on earth. All this thing that we have to conquer. We are more than conquerors. In all this thing that push us towards committing suicide, we are more than conquerors. Got it now? Everything that may push people to commit suicide up to the point. He pushed up to the point, up to the point. I will make him, I will make him, until he could kill himself, okay? All these things cannot make us to commit suicide because we are more than conquerors. We can conquer through the love of God. You see, God makes everything work together for good for those who are called with the purpose of God. Remember? Romans chapter 8, verse 28. Here he said, we are more than conquerors in everything that we have to encounter, in everything that falls upon us. We, can, we are more than conquerors. We never have the idea or need for to commit suicide. In the church of Christ, nothing can make us commit suicide. Hey, everyone, listen to it. Very carefully. This is very important. One time forever. We are in the church of Christ. We know true in the Bible. God make everything work together for our good, good thing or bad thing. Or anything. They try to push us up to the point that people may come, uh, commit suicide. Nothing. Because we are more than conquerors. See, they understand now? We are more than conquerors. We can overcome. And God promised He will not let us to face temptation more than what we can conquer. More than what we can overcome. And the conclusion is there is no need to make commit suicide. That's what they mean. As I say by the grace of God, I have lived, I have lived to this day that I can say Christianity today is wrong. In quoting this scripture says Christian can commit suicide and still go to heaven. Okay? If they are Christian, that's why I say they are Christian, okay? Not real Christian in the church of Christ. They are faith in the Christianity. Not one believe Jesus. Those are the people can ever think People commit suicide and still can go to heaven. What kind of, what kind of people think, think like that? How could anybody understand the scripture that way? It's very dangerous. That's why it's not good to skip one verse just ahead of it. When you start from verse 37 all the way to 39, it's a it's different idea. And you get all the scripture come together. Oh, finish. Yeah, by the grace of God, finish. Let's say a prayer. Oh, uh, Peter, come say a prayer. Uh, don't worry about it. <laughs>